All right, now let's get to a Crime Watch Daily update on the wild story of Steve Talley. He was arrested and accused of two different bank robberies. One big problem, though, it appears he didn't do it. When you first see Steve Talley, you'd think he's just some homeless dude wandering the streets of Denver. I do look like uh, maybe Tom Hanks in, in uh, Castaway. But what brought Steve to the depths of despair in the Mile High City will shock you. This is how Steve once looked, a buttoned-down financial advisor, until one day, in a shocking turn, everything spun out of control. It was just like, boom, 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 and I'm blinded. In a story Crime Watch Daily first brought you, Steve was arrested for not one, but two bank robberies. I just said, you got the wrong guy. You guys are crazy. But cops said they had evidence, claiming that's Steve in the surveillance video taken during both robberies. Even his ex-wife said she recognized him on the tapes. Steve couldn't make bail and was held for two months in jail. He ended up losing his job and his home. But the financier had an airtight alibi for the first holdup, a time-stamped audio recording of a call he made at work. Hi, Nicole. Steve Talley with Transamerica. How are you doing today? Did cops have a vendetta against Steve Talley? He says yes. Incredibly, after his release for the first holdup, Steve says the detective who originally arrested him made a disturbing threat. Well, I'm going to throw your ass back in jail. We're going to refile. One year later, Detective Jeffrey Hart did exactly that, arresting Steve for the second robbery. This time, prosecutors supposedly ID'd Steve using facial recognition technology. But look at this mole on Steve's cheek. It isn't on the robber's face. And there were other problems with the case. On the wrong height, on the wrong body type, on the wrong weight, I don't have scars on my hands. Those scars would become part of the key that would unlock Steve's cell door. The bank teller tells our Denver affiliate, KDVR, she noticed strange markings on the suspect's hands, but not on Steve's. He was an innocent man. He, did, he, you know, he didn't do it. And prosecutors ultimately agree. After reviewing the evidence, they dropped the case. Detective Hart was reprimanded for violating procedures during a witness photo lineup. But Steve Talley says his life has been ruined. And now he's just filed a federal lawsuit against the FBI and the Denver Police Department for $10 million, claiming false arrest and excessive force when he was arrested. I have tinnitus from flashbang grenades. I have permanent bruising. I have four broken ribs. So far, no comment from the FBI or the Denver police. Crime Watch Daily will continue to follow this bizarre case.